parents requesting their assistance with building her house. Only with their help could she continue to design a home that would allow her to outwit evil spirits bent on revenge. Each morning she passed on new plans to the foreman whose crews carried out her wishes. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, the woman was Sarah L. Winchester. Winchester, Winchester, Winchester. And her deceased husband had left her a cursed family fortune earned through the invention of the Winchester rifle. In 1884, construction began on a spacious Victorian mansion in San Jose, California. After Sarah Winchester moved to the West Coast from New Haven, Connecticut, following two personal tragedies, her infant daughter had died suddenly from a mysterious ailment in 1866, after which Sarah lapsed into a deep depression that plagued her for the rest of her life. Then, 15 years after the death of her daughter, Sarah's husband, William, died of tuberculosis at age 43. The loss of her husband was a debilitating blow to the already distraught Sarah, fearing, fearing that she might take her own life. One of her close friends suggested that she should visit a psychic. Psychic, 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 to see if she could contact her husband, her daughter, or both. After all, this was the height of the spiritualism movement. That's cool. The medium told Sarah that William was trying to contact her with a dire message. A dire message. The Winchester family was cursed as a result of the invention of the repeating rifle. Native Americans, settlers, and soldiers all over the world were dead due to the weapon. Those angry spirits were bent on revenge, and Sarah was their next target. Dun dun dun. The medium told Sarah that the only way to prolong her life was to move out west and build a large house. But here's the kicker. The kicker, the kicker, the kicker, the kicker. The kicker. Sarah was told that the key to appeasing the spirits was that construction could never end. Otherwise, the spirits would kill her. <laughs> that is so weird. Designed by spirits. Sarah decided that it was not enough to maintain a never-ending construction project. She also needed to confuse the spirits that were to get out were out to get her. As a result, the house features strange design elements. Doors open into walls or sheer drops outside. Some stairs and dead ceilings are of odd proportions. For example, the steps on the switchback staircase are each two inches high, allowing a staircase with seven full flights to rise only nine feet. Odd as this may seem, it may have been necessary for the arithmetic, arthritic, sorry, for the arthritic Sarah. Always twist and turn and secret passageways end in bizarre nooks. One stairway goes down seven steps and then up eleven, and one particular linen closet is larger than most three-bedroom apartments. Many of the mansion's architectural elements incorporate the number 13, which was believed to keep unwelcome spirits at bay. Sorry for the background noise. Thirteen stairs lead to the 13th bathroom, which has a window with, you guessed it, 13 panes. 13 panes, panes, panes. Another benefit of living in such a large house was that Sarah did not have to sleep in the same bedroom for more than two nights in a row. That is bizarre. Which she believed made it difficult for ill-intentioned Ill spirits to find her. Her life sounds exhausting. <laughs> 
unfortunately. This also made it difficult for her staff to find her after a 7.9 magnitude earthquake rocked the Bay Area in 1906. Sarah was trapped in, in the Daisy bedroom, one of her favorite rooms, in the front of the house for hours, which led her to conclude that the spirits were sending her a message. She had spent too much money on the front of the building. As a result, the front 30 rooms, including an unused ballroom that cost more than $9,000 to build when an average house could be built for less than $1,000, were sealed off. While Sarah worked desperately to appease the evil spirit, she also tried to make the good ones feel comfortable. She built a special seance room that she used nightly to contact friendly spirits and receive their input on how the construction of the house should proceed. Sarah also liked to play her bump organ late at night to entertain her spectral guests. Spectral, spectral, spectral. <laughs> spectral. And perhaps exercise her arthritic hands. Every good project has an end, or does it? By the time Sarah Winchester died in 1922, construction had been underway for 38 years. The house sprawled over six acres and boasted 160 rooms, 2,000 doors, 10,000 windows, 47 stairways, 47 fireplaces, 13 bathrooms, of course, and six kitchens. But it is estimated that more than 500 rooms were actually built and then sealed over or torn down and refashioned into new spaces. Over the years, investigators have recorded various paranormal occurrences at the Winchester Mystery House. One group recorded faint sounds of an organ and saw not only moving balls of light, but also two apparitions dressed in clothing that was popular in Sarah Winchester's time. Other visitors have felt icy chills in draft-free rooms and observed locked doorknobs turning and when one guest developed photos that he took in the peculiar mansion, he discovered that he'd captured the ghostly image of a man in coveralls, a caretaker, heard footsteps and breathing in otherwise empty rooms. And in 1975, during a midnight seance on Halloween, renowned medium, Sheen Borshin, or have you say that, seemed to transform into an elderly Sarah, aging rapidly before the other attendees and falling over in pain. Many say that the ghost of Sarah Winchester still roams her unusual home, and psychics firmly believe that the other house is haunted, that the house is haunted. This can't be proven, of course, but that doesn't stop the claims, and it didn't stop the lady of the house from undertaking one of the world's most incredible construction projects. When Sarah Winchester's husband passed away, she inherited a fortune. Literally, in the late 1880s, the average family income hovered at around 500 per year. Sarah was pulling in about a thousand per day. Impressive, Sarah. Impressive. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did, and I hope to see you in my next video. Good night, sweet dreams, Moonies.